a little bit about Ellie and Violet Weinberg and their beloved daughter Sheila and her son Mark, who's an activist in the family mold. And he's so overjoyed about this occasion today. He's in the Cape and couldn't be with us and it'll be wonderful for the Palestinian visitors to meet him when the four of you are down in the Cape from tomorrow, I think it is. Yes. I think, by the way, that the fact that Mark, that we could refer to Mark, is one of the reasons why initially, and I don't know if everybody's aware, but the local people, not all the local people, there are, and this part of Joburg tends to be something of a Zionist stronghold, very pro-Israel, and not everybody. And it's important for us to engage with these people. Um, backtracked, and the council backtracked, because initially they said that this would not be prohibited. We were prepared to go ahead with this process because of our rights and our freedoms in a democratic South Africa. But here we are, and you can all see how at peace we can be. We've got the council workers over there who be, be assisting with the planting of the trees. With the Weinberg family, I'd like somebody to just go over there and read out in a nice loud voice the dedication to the, the Weinberg family and why it is so apposite, so reflective and symbolic that we should be in this park. Thank you. Over generations of struggle, the Weinberg family made a significant contribution to a democratic South Africa. Ellie Weinberg, his wife Violet and daughter Sheila, faced bannings, imprisonment and attacks on their home. Sheila's brother Mark died in 1965, aged 24 at a time, when both parents were in jail. After rocks were repeatedly thrown through the windows of the Weinberg home, the broken windows were not replaced. Ellie Weinberg began working as a professional photographer in 1926 and ran a successful studio for many years, continuing even while under house arrest. Sign writing from the historic Weinberg Photographic Studio has been reproduced on the name wall for this park. Thanks very much indeed. As son, Mark, in Cape Town, would be, I can assure you, and others here who knew them too, I can assure you I knew them from 1960. They would be absolutely overjoyed their hearts brimming with love and solidarity for the Palestinian group, our friends, our comrades who are here today. They give this event their fullest blessing. I've got absolutely no doubt about this. And in that sense, the day is truly wonderful and symbolic.